Hello everybody, Maven here. In the final warning exotic sidearm, just got a brand new exotic catalyst this season and it's insane. Now shameless plug, but a few months ago I did a video about which primary weapon in Destiny 2 does the highest DPS. We tested a bunch of things at Templar and spoiler, final warning one. By a long shot, nothing came close. It was the only one to break 400,000 damage in a Templar damage phase. Not even the Touch of Malice could do that. Not even the Terabo with Ravenous Beast active can do that. Final Warning is just insane as a primary. And this exotic catalyst just makes it even more absurd. So let's break down what the catalyst does and most importantly, how to use the Final Warning. Because in my experience, I found that 99% of players don't know the proper way to use this thing. You might think you're using it right, but you're not. So let's talk about that. Hope you enjoy. So I may or may not be showing Grandmaster gameplay in the background. I don't know yet, but regardless, every time we shred a champion, just watch how hard it shreds. This gun destroys champions. So anyways, here's what the catalyst does. Hits against marked targets deal increased damage and have a chance to refund ammo to the magazine. So you can see against Carl how it keeps refilling the mag. It's kind of like rewind rounds. It like doubles, sometimes triples, sometimes quadruples your mag size. It's a crazy catalyst. And this segues us into talking about how to actually use the final warning the correct way. If you're doing it like like this, where you fully charge your burst and let it go, fully charge your burst and let it go, you're doing it wrong. The final warning can shoot in semi-auto mode, or you can hold the trigger and let it go and it will burst. But a burst animation will still begin even if you charge the weapon the slightest bit. And that slight bit is all you need to get the bonuses of the pick your poison perk. So pick your poison says that if you aim down sights, you gain doubled precision damage. And if you hip fire, you get those tracking shots. So you can see against Carl, I charge just enough to mark him, I dip into cover, and I hit fire to get into the tracking mode. And if I spam the trigger manually, I can continue to get tracking shots way past the duration of the actual burst itself. This is the actual way to use the final warning. Same goes for aiming down sights. So once again, this is how you think you would use it, holding down the trigger for the entire burst, letting it go, and doing that again, that is wrong. Here's how you actually do it. Hold down the trigger long enough just to create the burst animation, which will proc the pick your poison bonuses to give you that bonus precision damage when you aim down sights. The burst will be shorter, but when it runs out, you can continue to manually spam your trigger to continue gaining the benefits of the perk way past the duration of the actual burst animation. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison so you can see just how much bonus DPS you get for using the final warning the right way. It's a night and day difference. And like I said in the intro, it feels like 99% of the time when I see someone use the final warning, they don't know the proper way to use it like this. And that even includes the biggest of the biggest name Destiny YouTubers. I won't name names, no shade. Anyway, the fact that it was the highest DPS primary in the game before the catalyst just says a lot about how much damage it does now. This thing is no joke. And remember, this season, Sidearms even received a 20% damage buff against Miners as well. So it just obliterates trash mobs like they're nothing. And you've seen in the background gameplay that it obliterates champions as well. I used it in Grandmasters this season, I used it in Grandmasters in previous season. The final warning holds up as one of the strongest weapons in the entire game. This is a weapon I trust in difficult content. If new tough content comes out, like a day one raid for example, and I'm in need of consistent damage output, I always default to the final warning because not only does it output good damage, but it also lets you stay alive by getting those tracking shots around a corner. And on top of the catalyst, it's even better this season because of an artifact mod called Threaded Blast, where destroying a tangle with a strand weapon creates an even bigger and more damaging explosion. And remember, the final warning has a perk where if you deal damage with the fully charged burst, it unravels targets which creates a tangle. So it alone can do threaded blast shenanigans without any help from your abilities or subclass. And if you take a look at that same screenshot I showed several times now, you can see that among the top damage dealers, they all require something. Touch of Malice requires constant healing. Hawk Moon and Teraba require you to charge their perks. Tommy's Matchbook requires Actium War Rig and so on and so forth. And you know what? The final warning requires nothing and it's still the best of the best. So I guess before we wrap up the video, I should tell the newer players how to actually get the catalyst. Well, when the final shape started, 
I already had the catalyst, which is weird. So you might want to inspect your final warning to see if you already have it. But I think the way you get it is by a random drop in a playlist activity. Everyone and their mom is grinding Iron Banner right now for the new God rolls. So I would probably suggest that since you're probably going to do it anyway. A day or two of grinding that should eventually drop the catalyst for you. So that's going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like and a comment because those actions really please the algorithm gods. And if you are new here, please consider subscribing as we are extremely close to hitting 50k subs and you can help me get there. And thank you so much if you do. And with that, I will catch you in the next video. See you later.